because they did a thing, but they go, stress hits women's brains harder and why men don't always get that. So they did a big article, but I just thought things, it was just Yahoo. But I think these things are interesting because it was like, you know, these these are kind of coming from like a woke perspective and their whole thing is like, you know, men don't understand that women have to deal with things harder because they stress hits women harder, right? Yeah. And you were like, the obvious logical conclusion of that women is- Women have worse brains. Well, this one's not necessarily your brain, but you go, so would you agree that things that are stressful, women would be worse at? Yeah. So it's like, you ha- you can't make the argument that stress hits women harder without making the argument that there are certain jobs women would be less good at. Oh, obviously, for sure. So it's like, they're, they're in their search for describing how hard women's lives are, they are forced to explain that they can't do things as good. Yeah, and then also there's biologically such a thing as a woman's brain and a man's brain. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, there's, yeah. Like, again, it's it's been said before, but, you know, if you go exhume So you said some their brains woman, are different now. Yeah, if she identified as a man, you still be like, well, that's And you woman. go, so some job that there was, like, a lot of stressful inputs and you were juggling a lot of things, like a CEO. Or the president that, of the United States. You're saying States the CEO, maybe. which is the hardest job in the world, and it's already really hard for some people. You go, if it was a woman, it would be even oh, harder for her. Yeah. And you go, so if you made it at that job one more unit of hardness you'd say the girl's at a disadvantage biologically and they'd like, how do you not now mm-hmm. take those steps? Yeah. Well, I think cause the last sign, the last line is that women are all Queens and they still do better. It's just harder. <laughs> yeah. The, but they the, also, are. they're just playing in the fucking NBA with ankle weights on, but, but they're still doing, there dunks. is other jobs where, you know, like they said, you know, there's the kind of saying in these things, like the idea of being like more in tune with stress might make you better because you're like able to notice things more. You know what yeah, I mean? For sure. You know, like for example, I think one of those things might be like a woman that's a better waitress. Like she's kind of mo- like no, no. Uh, there's like ten the tables multi- at yeah, one. Multitasking. You know the multitasking sort of thing. Yeah. Because you're like more in tune with all the like units coming at you or whatever, or like obviously like babies and stuff like that. You can keep it. But the bottom line is, you have to now. You can't write this article without admitting. Maybe they could. Mm-hmm. But it's Yahoo too. This isn't some weird one. No. No. Well, I don't know. A triple whammy makes women uniquely vulnerable to the strain and pressure. Women's brains make them more sensitive to men, to stressors and perceived lack of control. The limbistic areas, limbic areas of women's brains, which help control emotions and memories, are highly active, making them remember hurt and sights hurts and slights more readily oh you don't say <laughs> women women remember slights more readily <laughs> i agree with that so women remember <laughs> like this is supposed to make girls look good but it just confirms everything that you told oh, me women sexist. are petty and remember slights more <laughs> slights it's just confirming like things that you would call me sexist for saying yeah uh-huh. i feel like whoever wrote this article it's like accidentally four boys <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, they literally just said li- the researchers have just linked high levels of stress hormone cortisol to brain shrinkage. Like, I've been saying that this whole time that they have smaller brains. Based article. <laughs> Not crazy. They're literally saying that their brains might shrink because of the stress. Yeah. I actually got to send this to my girlfriend. It's pretty I, wild, right? Well, I said specifically she was getting stressed out, and then I said, they go, yeah, it actually, I said this like two days ago, yeah, it's creating more cortisol, and I, I said that, and I go, but I said that it makes her age faster, because I was just trying to get her to stop talking, and I go, the cortisol makes you age faster, which I think it does too, but the brain shrinkage, that actually makes a lot of sense. Brain shrinkage. That's amazing, that this is a real, there's a real study that says women have smaller brains. <laughs> This is in neurology.org. Women have smaller brains. Yeah. I'm not saying it. I'm not I'm not in the lab proving women have smaller brains. Brain don't shrinkage. Shoot, don't shoot the messenger here. Brain shrinkage. But women suffer brain shrinkage. Women cope by talking about being anxious and describing their emotions and stressors, she said. This could put them at risk for ruminating about the issues. Men seem to not 
access the cognitive processing part of their brains and are more likely to quickly think about doing something, take an action. By the way, this is... I'm, I, I'm, As opposed to expressing their distress verbally. This is so funny. This is crazy. But also, this this just killed me. I just reread this. So they go, the latest... This is from the thing that we just had about the ghost. Researchers have just linked high levels of stress hormone cortisol to brain shrinkage and impaired memory in healthy middle-aged adults. And get this... The effect was more pronounced in women. <laughs> I just love that. And get this. Women's brains shrink more. You go, yeah. Get this. Big hot take there. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Women have smaller brains. <laughs> this is a fucked up article. Get this. Get this. Women have smaller brains. 